everybody, it's Naya. Welcome back to Naya Reads and Smiles. Today I have my December book haul and all of these books are either winter 2020 releases or early January releases. Um, we're gonna find out as we open them because I did not open all of the boxes yet. This is my very last book haul of 2019 and I don't know why that makes me kind of sad. Um, I should be excited because there's so many new books coming out next year um, which I will make another video for because your girl has already started pre-ordering. I've opened maybe one of the packages because I thought it was a Christmas present I ordered for someone else, uh, but turns out, it was for me. Also, something I started doing and will continue to do in all of my videos is list the books that I talk about in the description box. So if you're watching this on your phone and you're trying to like write down all the books I'm talking about, just feel free to just take a screenshot. You can go and order them conveniently. Before we get into the unboxing, I... I have a sponsor. Today's video is so kindly sponsored by my friends over at Skillshare. You guys know I talk about them all the time. I love them. They're amazing. Skillshare is one of the largest online learning communities. Um, if you're someone who has a creative passion or are pursuing a creative career such as writing, reading, filmmaking, graphic design, illustration, photography, literally Skillshare has absolutely everything. Or if you're just curious and you want to learn more and have an interest in these different topics, they even have uh, business classes, which is so cool if you're someone who's wanting to start their own business. Skillshare has amazing professionally taught videos. I, you guys know, I love writing. I am trying to better my videography skills, which we're, we're getting there. But their writing videos especially are fantastic. I've been writing my book. One of my favorite writing videos is this video called Creative Writing for All. It is so informative and it's just, you pick up things, you know, in every video that you watch, you learn something new. A premium membership with Skillshare gives you access to unlimited classes so you can just go in and just watch all of them that's what I would do a membership is less than ten dollars a month if you guys are interested and just want to kind of test it out try out Skillshare you can get two months for free um, with my link down below in the description you can go ahead and just watch all the videos these are all the packages that I have to unbox today I don't even know where I'm gonna start with all these packages I guess we'll start with the smallest one and then work our way up to the bigger ones because yeah, let's just do that. Let's just start off easy, okay? So I believe this first package is from DC Comics, and I'm so excited because you guys know I have been slowly getting into graphic novels. One of my big goals for 2020 is to read more graphic novels slash comics slash manga. An area um, of reading that I don't do much of because I'm stuck in my little fantasy reading world over here. Oh my god! Okay, so this first book here is by Leigh Bardugo. If you don't know who Leigh Bardugo is, she wrote the Six of Crows, I was about to say series, but it's a duology, as well as the Grisha series, which are both amazing and I love and I stand. I have Wonder Woman Warbringer, the graphic novel by Leigh Bardugo, and I I knew Leigh was gonna be doing a comic book, but I just couldn't remember which one or which character um, in the DC universe that she was gonna be doing an adaptation graphic novel writing for. At the cover alone, has me so excited just oh look at that I'm pretty sure you guys are all familiar with the Wonder Woman story um, so I'm not gonna do a whole like synopsis I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a different uh, version of Wonder Woman. Personally, I'm not that familiar with Wonder Woman's story outside of just what I know from movies and movies yeah I'm excited to check this one out next book i received here is from get underlined and the package they sent it in is so cute i just have to show you it's like a little christmas themed um uh, shipping package oh thank you so much to jen she works over at the get underlined team and she sent these to me as a little christmas gift they are 2020 releases so these aren't out yet i don't think because it says 2020 <laughs> so let us open these Hi. I'm so excited. You guys, Get Underlined is probably one of the best imprints. Um, Nick's uh, Jackpot by Nick Stone, Wilder Girls. Um, what else books did I read that were under that imprint? But anyways, they're releasing some fantastic stuff. First book I have here is When You Were Everything by Ashley Woodfull. It says here this book is about two girls, Cleo and Layla, who were best friends, inseparable, but something ended up happening and now they go to school and just pretend they don't they, like know each other that's how bad that friendship ended whatever happened was very serious and it just completely ruined their friendship and it's 
is still haunting both of them as they're going to school and just pretending not to see each other. Blends past and present into an emotional story about the beauty of self-forgiveness, the promise of new beginnings, and the courage it takes to remain open to love. Story about friendship, and I think friendship is really underrated in books. Cover is so beautiful. I have just, I'm gonna do a whole video on just cover art and some of my favorite cover art because I think, um, I think graphic artists or just artists who do covers are so underrated and this is just beautiful. So the next book I have here is Unravel the Dusk by Elizabeth Lim, another fantastic beautiful cover. This is actually the second book to a book that I talked about earlier this year or actually I think only like two or three months ago. Yes, okay, so I had to go and pull this off my shelf but Spin the Dawn is the very first book in this series. Our character in this book, her dad is a tailor or a seamstress and he gets requested to come to the royal palace and possibly become the new royal tailor but because her father is sick she ends up kind of pulling a Mulan and pretends to be her father's son even though she's a girl uh, and goes to the royal castle and competes to become the tailor of the land or whatever the, whatever the official title is I don't think that's what the what she wrote yeah okay you get it Theory sounds so good and this is the second book I'm not gonna read the synopsis because I don't want to spoil myself oh my god okay the author of this book just followed me and I just followed her because I saw someone post about her book or it was where was I, I saw her book somewhere and I'm so excited I think this is an advanced copy because this isn't the cover that I originally saw on Instagram next book I have here is this is my America by Kim Johnson now this book tackles so many things so many things. An incredible and searing examination of the often tragic collision of racism and the flawed criminal justice system. Read and reread and reread again. That is Nick Stone's little blurb here at the top. Um, but like the little blurb here says by Nick Stone, who if you guys don't know, she wrote Jackpot and she wrote Dear Martin and she just has a ton of books out right now. She's amazing. This tackles the racism and injustice of the criminal justice system here in America. Every week, 17 year old Tracy Beaumont writes letters to Innocent X asking the organization to help her father, an innocent black man on death row. After seven years, Tracy is running out of time. Her dad has 275 days left. Then one night changes everything. The police arrive, pounding on the door, and Tracy's older brother, Jamal, goes from being a bright, promising track star to a thug on the run, accused of killing a white girl. Determined to save her brother, Tracy investigates what really happened between Jamal and Angela down at the pike, and as Tracy discovers the racist history that haunts her small town's presence, she begins to wonder whether she's lighting the torch that will illuminate her family's innocence or lighting the fuse that will cause her world to explode. Wow, I am so... I cannot wait to read this book. Like I said earlier, I feel like this is exactly the kind of books we need to be putting out in the YA genre right now, especially with what's going on here in America. Thank you, Jen, for this book, and thank you to Kim Johnson for writing it. The next book I have here is from Penguin Random House, I believe. They actually sent me an arc of this book a little while back, and a couple of you guys informed me that there was some problematic content in this book. Now, I'm not like a hundred percent sure what happened or what specifically um, was problematic in the book. I think someone said that this book was pulled or it was um, like the release date was moved because they had to take back the arcs and then rewrite some of that problematic content or something like that. I don't know the full story so I don't want to put false information out there. I am going to look into that. For now I will say what the synopsis of this book is which I believe we're following a princess who has some sort of dark power um, and her father the emperor ends up getting killed and she gets framed for the murder. It sounds really cool. Um, like I said I have an arc of this so I'm really curious if that arc is the version of the story that has the problematic content and then this is the one that is edited and changed. I don't know. I have to look more into it. I have to look more into it. I don't want to say anything. The thing I have here is a book box and I don't know who sent this one to me but it says The Tenant on it which I'm guessing is the title of the book in here. Ooh, I love book boxes so much. They're so much fun. Oh my god, this is a fully stuffed book box. Look at this. But Big Honko Media sent me The Tenant by Catherine. Catherine Enberg. Um, oh, hello, Catherine. <laughs> Oh my god, who was the author? Okay, you guys remember that one author that I was like kind of like low-key clowning But just it was like just poking fun because um, he had his whole face on the back of the cover For any of you who may be wondering what Nicholas Sparks looks like He just so brilliantly decided to put his face on the back of the book instead of putting a synopsis here I don't mean to throw shade at him. I just think like You just, is this necessary? But anyway 
anyways hey Catherine how you doing oh, oh yeah oh <laughs> okay I'm done I'm done I'm done like watch literally when my book comes out I'm like low-key considering doing this and just putting my full picture on the back of it <laughs> Would you guys like not buy the book? <laughs> this book doesn't come out until January, but it says here on the little informational sheet, um, who killed the tenants? A shocking murder, a twisted game of vengeance, who killed the tenants? Yeah, this book is definitely a thriller. This book takes place in Copenhagen, Denmark, which I don't think I've ever read a thriller book that takes place in Denmark. They sent this super cute little postcard and it has Copenhagen on it. They also sent me soap and it smells so good. Literally everything in this box is this scent, which is kind of like a, um, lavender sort of scent. They also sent me this adorable mug. You guys know how much I love and need to stop collecting <laughs> mugs. Okay, I received a, another little book box in here and it says one of us is lying on it so I know this is gonna be either like the follow-up book or are there are there two books out already or just one book in that series? But yeah, the thrilling sequel to the breakout phenomenon, One of Us is Lying, which is a thriller book and I'm just, I feel like this is just like a thriller haul part two from the one I did like a few weeks ago. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, just, I just need to show you guys this real quick. Once again, shout out to Jen over at Get Underline. She sent me this package and I am so excited for it and your handwriting is so cute! This package is also from Get Underlined and they said, oh my god, you guys, there's chocolate in it. <gasps> no way! What? Oh my god! They just put so much chocolate! There's Hershey Kisses! Hold on. I just... My girl Jen, she just, she knows me and I just, I, I appreciate you so much. Look at all this chocolate. Yeah, thank you Jen for fueling my chocolate addiction. I love you and you're the best. Oh my god, there's more. I just keep finding more in here. It's just never ending. I feel like I'm just like Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory right now. Okay, I'm putting the chocolate in this little cup for now so I don't accidentally smush it with the book. The first thing in here is a hardback, well second thing in here next to the chocolate, but um, okay, first official book thing in here is a finished copy of One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. I have heard so much about this book. Let me know down below if you've read it. Um, you guys know I'm a thriller lover, so I am just always looking for a new good thriller read. Oh my god. Okay, so it says, pay close attention and you might solve this. On Monday afternoon, five students at Bayview High walk into detention. The brain, the beauty, the criminal, the athlete, and the outcast. For the end of detention, Simon's dead, and according to investigators, his death wasn't an accident. On Monday he died, but on Tuesday he'd planned to post juicy reveals about all four of his high profile classmates, which makes all four of them suspects in this murder. Or are they just the perfect patsies for a killer who's still on the loose? It kind of sounds like if Breakfast Club went wrong, this is that book. <laughs> the second book in the series is One of Us is Next, and I believe this one comes out in January, January 7th, 2020. Now, saving the biggest box for last, I do know what this is, and I'm so bummed that I couldn't or didn't open it sooner because this is a promotional package for a new movie that has Chris Evans in it. Let us just open it so you guys can see. The promotional package is for the new movie that came out called Knives Out, which is a sort of comedy thriller. They sent me a bunch of super cool stuff. I had no idea that Knives Out, um, I haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna watch it as soon as the weekend approaches. No idea that Knives Out, that movie, is actually based on a book. So they sent me the original. Why don't I just like read what they sent me so I can give you guys accurate information? Hi there, as a book connoisseur, we thought you'd appreciate this special selection of detective books and a few gifts from the film Knives Out. Knives Out is an original murder mystery with a modern twist and a wink to his. Hitchcock, written and directed by Ryan Johnson. Okay, so it's not, it's inspired by a book, but it's not based off a book. The first thing in here, you guys will not believe what they sent me. I'm gonna have to put this on a high shelf because I have little siblings and this is just too dangerous to keep around, but it's so, um, okay, they sent me this magnifying glass that has a knife at the end. It's not a real knife, a magnifying glass and a knife. Like, what? <laughs> This, I feel like a different person holding this, you know what I mean? I just feel so powerful and I just, I love it. And it came in a velvet pouch, like this is so extra, I just... <sighs> the PR team did good on this one. I'm just gonna wear this shirt everywhere, just, can we just... 
Oh my god. Okay, and now to the book portion of this little book box here. They sent me The Mysterious Affair at Styles by Agatha Christie, and I don't think I've ever read anything by Agatha Christie. So in this thriller, we are following a murder. A girl was poisoned, and they're trying to figure out who did it. Yes. Pretty straightforward plotline, um, but then again, most mystery novels, they, they can't tell you too much. And of course, they sent me a Sherlock Holmes. It's just so fitting for the whole movie and the theme of this package. Okay, those are all the books I have to unbox today. Thank you so much for um, just another amazing year here on BookTube. Um, yeah, I just, all the book hauls and the reviews and the craziness you guys have stuck around for, and I am so grateful, and I cannot wait for 2020. We have so many finales of books coming out um <coughs> imagine me <laughs> until next time keep reading and I will talk to you guys later bye